Comptoir owner in the first order of business is a declaration of pecuniary interest. And declared, then we have a, a second item is action items, and we have an action item of CTAS response time performance plan. Okay, thank you. Um, actually, with your permission, Mr. Chair, um, can I go over the information item first just because it'll tie into the action items? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, so the information item is our response time data. Um, I believe you're used to these reports. Um, each year we're required to do them twice a year in October we have to set our plan for the following year and then in March we actually re report on the plan and submit that to the ministry as well um, but in order to set the plan we still need to look at the data so I wanted to kind of prepare a report on what our data is to date um, for our response time plan um, and if you remember CTAS is the um, Canadian triage acuity scale and that's how we basically base um, how fast we try to attempt to get to most of the calls based on the severity of the patient um, and that's determined by the paramedic on scene. Um, sudden cardiac arrest SCA, the ministry requires us um, basically to report on a community response for this one and they want us to report the number of times that we're there or the percentage of times that we're there six minutes or less. Um, it's a difficult one to do um, because we can't always get accurate data from um, the community responders whether that's the fire department or another public access defibrillator. Um, and those numbers are actually fairly low as well, so it's hard to get accurate data. Um, so for the county to date, we're at about 27%. Um, CTAS-1 are the ones that we would go with lights and sirens and the patient still needs to be resuscitated sort of measures. Um, we also have to report on that in eight minutes or less, and then we set a time on that one. And to date, we're at 45%. Uh, CTAS-2, we would still be a sort of a lights and sirens sort of call, um, but not necessarily resuscitative, chest pain, severe short of breath, we might be giving them medications, that type of thing. Um, and those ones are at 54%. CTAS-3 are kind of the one, not lights and sirens, but they need to get to the hospital fairly quickly. Um, we've said that 15 minutes or less for an ambulance response, and that we're doing that at 70%. Um, CTAS 4s and 5s are the less urgent calls. Again, we do fewer of those. Um, CTAS 4s may be a little bit more common. CTAS 5, we sometimes even question why they call an ambulance for those ones, but there are people in the community that will do that, and they could pretty much get there another means if they really had to. Um, so that's why we've set that at 25 minutes. It's not really urgent for us to get there, and we're making those 25 minutes 93% of the time. Um, the rest of the report is just broken down by the stations. If you want to see specific stations um, where we're at, over the last three years and to date. And to date, I should mention, is basically the end of um, August. It doesn't include uh, September times. Actually, mid-August by the time I reported the re did the report. So um, there's no financial staffing legal considerations with this one. Um, and just to tie in the, at the beginning of this report, I've also put the target date. So looking at the last two and a half years, what our target is. Um, so our target 30% for SCAs, um, sudden cardiac arrest, 45% for CTAS 1s, 50% CTAS 3s. And these are all what we believe to be achievable goals um, and what we're going to be able to meet and based on historical data. So if you're okay with that report, I can go back to the um, action item, which this one is more, it's, that's how we came up with our CTAS response plan. Um, we do need to report it and we have to set it in October and get our plan to the ministry by October 31st. So hence why I'm presenting it now to you. Um, we can go through all the Ambulance Act if you like, but that's basically stating what we have to do and which ones we need to report on um, and the ones that we set. So to come up with the times at the end of this report is basically what I reiterated there. So what we'd like to send to the ministry um, that the performance measure targets for 2017 as listed below be approved and submitted to the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care on or before October 31st. Um, our community response time target to sudden cardiac arrest calls should be six minutes or less 30% of the time. We do also include an addendum on that saying that this is a difficult one for us to actually measure and data can sometimes be skewed due to the low numbers and the inaccuracy sometimes of getting the data from uh, the first responders. Um, CTAS ones for eight minutes should be, we should be there um, eight minutes or less 45% of the time. CTAS 2, we should be there 10 minutes or less 50% of the time. CTAS 3, 15 minutes or less 70% of the time. CTAS 4, 20 minutes or less 85% of the time. And CTAS 5, 25 minutes or less 90% of the time. Thank you. 
Thanks, Ray. Is there any questions on either items? There's a maybe there's a, I'll take there's a recommendation. We'll get it on the floor and then we'll take questions. Uh, move, moved by Mitch, seconded by Ann. So questions on either item. Go ahead, Jay. Uh, just I went through this uh, yeah. for the last couple of days, so I'm trying to get an understanding. Is it very? Is it make it more difficult for the total department? because of two areas where I see, which is Wyerton and Tobamori um, times. Is that the way I was looking at that property? It does, they, are, they don't always meet our response time data. We take the whole county as a whole, but those ones are typically a little bit lower due to their longer response times. And, yeah. and is it mainly in the summertime when we have the influx of, of tourism and how busy those departments actually are? Like they do a fantastic job for uh, the distances that both of them have to travel. Yeah, um, that's something um, I did put that in the one report that we are looking at that because it was brought up by um, Mrs. Jackson last time. So we are going to go through that um, and do a report on all the areas and try and determine which areas are maybe we're not meeting as well and if there's something we can do about it. But it's hard to say right now if the summertime data, um, because it's busier, yes, we have more calls and it slows us down, but then you contrast that with winter times and the roads are harder and sometimes it's harder to get there because um, the road conditions you don't necessarily get there as well so I want to compare kind of month by month the different areas and and the stations and, and we can prepare a better where, where, where I'm personally going with this is mm -hmm. I'm constantly after the province because we are taking care of Ontario residences not just Bruce County's residences in the summertime and we have such an influx in those two areas that, that I feel we did this in the past with our OPP where we'd bring in outside OPP officers for the summertime for the influx of tourism um, when the province was paying for the uh, OPP costs. Now that right. it's transferred to the to our stations or municipalities is a little different. I still feel we should be going after the province to help us uh, with this program in the summertime and there's got to be maybe there's other ambulances or something in the minister in, in Ontario that sit half idle when when half of Toronto is, is out in the tourist areas so well for us with the municipality runs the service so it's going to be based on what the municipality wants and if we wanted to again we'll have to do a report on that and determine if it's something um, necessary or, or cost feasible but that would be the ministry the municipality technically pays for ambulance service and then there's a provincial grant that is supposed to cover 50 percent of the costs we always wait almost half a year to find out what sort of grant we're getting back for them which is supposed to meet the 50 percent you're right we can try for that but whether the ministry or the province would actually pay for it it's it's a just a we'd have to push yeah <laughs> any further questions or comments and all in favor of the recommendation? Opposed to any? That's the end of our agenda. The next meeting will be October the 6th, 2016, and a motion to adjourn. Anne and Robert, all in favor, we're adjourned.